Welcome to episode 7 of our walk from Soria to Santiago, on the Camino de Santiago. In the last episode, we planned to walk from Arzua to Opredroso, but we unknowingly walked past the town and ended up in Amanal. So our walk on this day starts in Amanal and ends in Santiago de Compostela. Okay, this is where we left off yesterday after walking 16 miles. The taxi just dropped us off and we're about to start our walk. Okay, so we just started and we have about nine miles to go to reach Santiago. You know, we're very close to Santiago, but we're still in a forest. It's, uh... Buen Camino. Here we are coming up on one of the most famous Camino markers. I've had my picture taken here twice before, and of course we took the time to have our pictures taken this time. Yes, you can qualify for a Compostela by bicycle. To qualify by bike, you need to get a minimum of two stamps per day in your credential and cycle the last 200 kilometers on one of the official Camino routes. You can even do it on horseback, which has the same requirements as doing it by foot. Two stamps a day on the last 100 kilometers. I think we have about three more miles. That's it? Wasn't it nine miles today? Or just eight? Nine miles today. We stopped at the famous Santiago sign for a few pictures as we entered the city. The sign's letters are usually covered with stickers and notes. I guess it was clean to prepare for the new pilgrim season. 
And here we are about to go into the tunnel that leads to the Cathedral Square. I'm going to let this extended clip run so that you can get a sense of what it's like to enter the Cathedral Square and end your Camino journey. Some guy commented on Camino 2022. He says, I don't care. The last walk into Santiago takes forever. Yeah, I saw it. Someone <laughs> said, yeah. <laughs> I totally it's agree. It's the truth. I totally For the next two nights, we stayed at the Parador de Santiago, known as the Hostel dos Reyes Catholicos. And here it is located on the Cathedral Square. The hotel was originally built as a hospital for pilgrims by order of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella, and it began service in 1509. It claims to be the oldest hotel in the world. When I booked our reservations, the hotel was almost completely booked. It only had a superior room available for the first night and a suite available for the second night. This was Lori's first time in Santiago and staying at this hotel is quite an experience. So I went ahead and made the reservation. Over the years, I had stayed there three times before and I knew it was an experience not to be missed. We settled into our superior room and then had dinner with Lydia and Doug in the hotel's impressive dining room. After dinner, Laurie went outside to take a few pictures with Lydia and Doug, and they stumbled upon two religious processions. It was Good Friday, the start of Easter weekend. We 
We had a lot we wanted to get done the next day. It started with breakfast at the hotel, and we both had churros and chocolate to top it off. Lori had to get both her Compostela and her dual pilgrim certificate. We needed to change rooms, and we had to have COVID tests for our flight home to Los Angeles. The pilgrim's office was crowded as usual, and it took some time for Lori to get her Compostela. When she was done, the hotel let us know that our suite was ready. We were blown away when we entered the suite. What do you think? This is beyond anything. It's absolutely amazing. Amazing. I feel so blessed. Amazing. We then walked over to the Santiago Tourist Office for Lori's Dual Pilgrim Certificate. A Dual Pilgrim is someone who's completed their walk on the Camino and on the Kamanokoto Pilgrimage Trail in Japan. Ah, qué bueno, gracias. After a thorough check of her documents, Lori was awarded a certificate and a pin, and her picture was taken for the Dual Pilgrim website. So in 2019, we did the Nakahachi Trail in the Kumano Kodo. Steve's already a dual pilgrim because we had already done the Camino Frances. Uh, yesterday I completed the Camino de Santiago and got today the dual pilgrim. So they give you a dual pilgrim pin and the certificate. And then you can opt to go on the website. So we're both dual pilgrims now, and I feel really proud and really blessed. And uh, yeah, Steve completed the Camino de Santiago uh, antes, uh, before the Kumano Kodo, and so when he got his dual pilgrim certificate, it was in Japan, and they allow you, you do a Shinto ceremony, you go to a Shinto temple, and they have you uh, bang this sacred drum as part of the ceremony. So if you do the Kumano Kodo second, that's really, really a nice highlight. It's still nice here, you get a pin and stuff, but the cer I really do uh, miss that ceremonial component. We stood in a fast-moving line to get into the cathedral. We wanted to visit the tomb of St. James the Apostle, known as Santiago here, and pay our respects. The cathedral is stunning, even more so now because of the extensive restoration that was started in 2013 and just completed last year. We had tapas for dinner and then walked back to our hotel to pack and get ready for our early morning flight to Madrid.
That's Lori on the balcony outside her room. We left the hotel at 6 a.m. the next morning for our flights. First an hour to Madrid and then 12 hours to Los Angeles. This time on the Camino, I only bought one souvenir. It's a tile and it only cost a few euro, but it has a lot of meaning to me. It says in Spanish, a pilgrim lives here, and I placed it at the front entrance to our home. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our upcoming adventures. Buen Camino.